वेल फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर अशोक कुमार साहू ए के साहू आई एम रिटायर्ड प्रिंसिपल साइंटिस्ट एंड हेड एक्वाकल्चर प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फ्रेश वाटर एक्वाकल्चर भुवनेश्वर सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे एक्चुअली द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फिश हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट सी व्हेन वी से फिश हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट मींस वी नॉर्मली कम अक्रॉस विद फिश डिजीज no first thing i just want to mention here is that why why actually the uh, fish is encountered with the disease there are many reasons behind it so there is also a saying that uh, prevention is better than cure if you take care of uh, the fish if you take care of the ponds i'm sure that you know the disease also won't come for example uh, uh, let's first take the water parameter so the water in the pond if the water is uh, good in quality so there is no ammonia and uh, there is uh, enough uh, oxygen is there and only thing is one has to be taken into account is the ph the ph of water should be more than 7 because less than 7 means it is uh, prone to many kind of a disease so suppose if you check the uh, water of the pond if it is uh, acidic so what you do is you know you apply lime so that you know the ph increases more than 7 1 second one is that the oxygen depletion suppose the oxygen is uh, you know it is less in uh, pond so what you have to do is either you use uh, blower or you use uh, uh, aerator and if you don't have that uh, provision what you could do is you know you can uh, uh, ask you know two three young uh, boys and give them you know stick and ask them you know to beat the water all around the pond so that you know there is a bubbling and the oxygen comes in and second one is that um, you can keep you know about uh, three basket you know uh, on a bamboo platform and uh, you draw the water from the pond and put it on the basket so that you know there is again a bubbling, bubbling and it is something like a like uh, shower and the the oxygen increases so these two point i mentioned one is water ph you know should be maintained and oxygen should be you know quite enough and for oxygen uh, the symptoms what you could do is you know, if the oxygen is less you will find that you know the uh, fish it uh, it is almost you know stands vertical keeping you know the head towards the sky number one and secondly is you know it uh, splashes you know with the tail so it means the reason is it is the oxygen then comes is one of the major uh, uh, disease of uh, fish is a fungal disease it is called as eus epizootic ulcerative syndrome so normally what happens you know during winter at the onset of the winter actually this disease comes out so actually this is also called as you know, you know Uh, red disease many people say red disease so in these cases you know what happens you know the fish uh, doesn't take feed and automatically you know gets weakened and finally there is a heavy loss so for that you know i think i'm happy to mention is that you know this company uh, pashupati agrovet has made this uh, medicine it is called as a germex and the dose is about 1 liter per hectare suppose if you have a 2.5 acre pond so you can use 1 liter of uh, this uh, particular uh, medicine then the, then another uh, important thing is uh, that is called as ectoparasite it is also called as uh, fish louse so the, this fish louse what happens you know it attacks you know the uh, fish under the under the scale so for that you know uh, and what happen you know it sucks blood and finally the fish uh, weakens doesn't take feed and it dies so the, there is a good medicine out there it is uh, it is a ivermectin which normally doctor prescribe you know for uh, ticks in dogs so this is the, the, this medicine is called as botox and it is only hardly 70 ml per uh, uh, hectare if you use and it is totally uh, you know it is wiped out and the last uh, point which is uh, again uh, uh, it is a bacterial disease this is called as a gill rot so the gill becomes you know uh, uh, instead of a red it becomes almost like a uh, 
you know, like a rotten gill, you know, it is a yellowish kind of thing. So there is also, you know, there are a lot of uh, medicines are there. So best thing is, you know, that I think uh, the, 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 the farmers, you know, they should go to the nearest uh, either veterinary department or the fisheries department and there are a couple of medicines are there, you know, you can use it. So, so, so my request to all farmers is that uh, please take care of that. The prevention is better than cure because uh, suppose, you know, we, we tell farmers that, you know, for growth culture, you know, you put about 15,000 fingerling, but farmers, what they do is, you know, they, 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 they stop more than 20,000 uh, per hectare. So there is a crowding. So crowding, what happens, you know, it leads to many types of disease. So friends, whatever actually we suggest, please adhere to that. And I'm sure that, you know, the disease will not come if you take care before the disease comes in. So I wish all the best farmers. Thank you.